Thanks for subscribing and keep an eye out every other Friday morning where we'll hit up sandbars and beaches, go on underwater adventures, do some sailing, and have lots of other fun. Thanks so much for watching. All right, we sailed off mooring. It is uh, very light winds. Um, probably one foot wind chop. Winds probably five miles an hour. We're sailing downwind, so it's we hardly feel any wind, but we are making about two knots. Which is very, very comfortable sail. We're not setting out to make any ground. We just thought it'd be nice to just relax. And we are in big time turtle country. We saw what one within five minutes we saw six turtles no, around us. Within five seconds. There within were six. five seconds. I think we're in about here, it's like 40, yeah, it's pretty, 40 feet. Yeah, it's not like might be more than that. It so, gets to be around 60, and then about 100, and then it gets back up. Four, four, right coming towards you. That's six. Yeah, I'd say this is shallower. We're at Alligator Reef and we're going to snorkel from back of our boat right up to the lighthouse. Water is super clear, calm. It's actually really calm right now, isn't it? You ready? Yep. Well, why do you have sea grapes? <laughs> yes. We're going to go feed the chubs the sea grapes. Stopped and picked up some grapes before we got here. There doesn't seem to be that many that pull it up to the lighthouse. So we think the, the local fish appreciate it. While we're calling these sea grapes, we're not exactly sure that's what they are. In fact, we think we're wrong about that. So if you know, please drop us a comment and let us know. What we are sure of is that the fish love them. And what the captain means when he says we stopped and picked up some grapes along the way, he means that if we saw anything floating on the surface, we slowed down and I picked them up with the boat pole so I could take them to these little vegan piranhas. Well, I think lots of fish snack on these little grapes. The gray chubs are especially fond of them. On an earlier day, we saw little pieces of the grapes floating around and these fish really going for it. So I thought for sure I was gonna bring some to the reef so I could have a real immersed experience with these cute little fish. I kept swimming out of the shadows to try to get some of that glint from the sun on them. They were a little skittish though to get too far from the protection of the lighthouse.
to put the camera down for just a little bit so I could try to swim among all of these little fish. Of course it won't swim right next to me, but they do kind of invite me into their world and it's just so much fun. While the gray chubs are plentiful, there are so many other fish here for such a small reef. Look at all of these yellowtail snappers. I would say the biggest attraction out of Alligator Reef is the lighthouse. And even though it's not really a comparison to the larger reefs, there still are some pretty coral heads and interesting fish. Another few moments around the lighthouse and then it was time to move on from what was a spectacular visit to the reef. Alligator Reef Lighthouse matches our boat. So with salty hair, masked face, and what we call snorkel eye, it's when your eyes are so cloudy from all the salt water that you can barely see, we headed back to our anchorage and had a pretty beautiful sunset on the way. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Make sure you have your notification bell on so you won't miss any of the sailing and fun. And thanks to all for being kind people and throwing us a like. Here are some other videos you might want to check out, including our new playlist with videos that had some restrictions placed on them. Thanks so much for watching.